Hey gang, uh, Mark here again. Uh, so my uh, brother-in-law called the house and wanted to know how I make my Adirondack chairs. Uh, I've made a boatload of them over the years. Uh, my design has progressed over the years. So uh, I'm going to uh, show you where I'm at right now with uh, regards to uh, Adirondack chair design and I'll discuss uh, why I did uh, what I did. So uh, let me grab the camera and we'll get going. Excuse my fingers. So uh, yeah, this is uh, my current design of Ad Adirondack chairs. Uh, in the early years when I first started building them, uh, they were much more squared off than this current one is. Uh, by that I mean, uh, if you look at the front, you can see where I have uh, rounded it over. Uh, that just seems to be much more comfortable on the back of the knee. Uh, and also on the main frame stretchers going down here, uh, I curved this uh, as opposed to going straight down. Uh, you know, our backsides are not uh, flat, so uh, that seems to be uh, better than the original design. Uh, also, on the back, uh, I don't know how good the camera is going to show it, but I curved the back too. Uh, these back slats uh, that support the uh, back here, uh, I cut a curve here instead of going straight across. So uh, that just, you know, gives the back, you know, kind of a curve. I know my camera work blows, but I'm uh, uh, just trying to uh, share with you my ideas. Uh, also, uh, the, these main frames, if you look on the uh, original, original design of a lot of them, uh, they, they come a lot farther back out this way. And uh, I just discovered that if you did that, uh, people were more likely to trip over them uh, when they were walking around the back side of them. So I shortened it up, uh, and it has not been a problem as far as stability goes. Uh, there's no way you're going to uh, tip this chair backwards when you're sitting in it. Uh, this chair is made out of a uh, one by cedar. Uh, I would suggest that if you're going to build chairs for people that are, uh, you know, big, big people, uh, I would do uh, two by for the legs and these uh, mainframe stretchers, if you want to call it. Just a little heftier for uh, bigger people. But, uh, yeah, this chair is, uh, you know, it's five years old now, uh, and it hasn't racked or... Uh, no loose joints or anything. So, uh, that's my design for uh, Adirondack, cha Adirondack chairs. And uh, feel free to comment. And uh, brother, if you're watching this, uh, don't hesitate to call if you got any questions. Thanks for watching.